After more than five decades, it looks like rock and roll really is here to stay. And today's technology is letting the younger generation discover the music of classic rockers. Some of those same rockers are still making music and living in the Northwest. Rockers like Donnie York. Born in Lewiston, Idaho, Donnie went to Columbia University in New York during the late 1960s. He joined the university men's glee club called The King's Men. They noticed that audiences loved hearing 1950s rock songs, so they focused on those songs, dressed the part, and changed their name from The King's Men to Sha Na Na. Sha Na Na Na, Sha Na 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 Na. In 1969, Sha Na Na developed a following in New York, appearing in popular clubs like The Scene. We were seen at The Scene by Jimi Hendrix, by Janis Joplin, by members of Blood, Sweat and Tears. Uh, a lot of our own favorite icons of the age were in the audience there. It, it just turned out to be a trendy club. We were building up lines outside to come and see this. The word of mouth was sensational. We were knocking them dead. We had Jimi Hendrix dancing on the tabletop in this little club. While at the club, Sean Anna was asked if they'd like to perform at an upcoming rock festival. It was gonna be later that summer called Woodstock. The Woodstock Festival of 1969 was a huge break for Sha Na Na, generating a movie and album which introduced the group to the world. Their success continued into the 1970s when they appeared in the movie musical Grease. They also landed a TV series which lasted four years and featured many of the top musical acts of the day. The show was uh, more successful than we dared to dream. We were definitely uh, getting more and more stations added all the time. Born in Lewiston and moved to Boise, Donnie went on to live in New York, Boston, and L.A. Now that he lives in Spokane, he calls those big city years his years in exile because he's so glad to live in the Northwest again. I feel like I've come back to the center of the universe when I walk the streets of Lewiston, Idaho. It's, wow, it's the center of the universe and I'm still here. Sha Na Na has been on stage, screen, and recordings ever since 1969. They're still performing and are showing no signs of slowing down. And uh, I thought it would last a year or two. I've always had that feeling until now. I still feel like, Sean and I, well, we got about another six months before we fall apart and disband. But we're uh, in our 41st year now. The Northwest is also home for Larry Ramos and Jordan Cole, members of the classic 60s group, The Association. Jordan is the son of one of the Association founders, Brian Cole. Most kids, when they're in second, first grade, don't know what they're going to do with their future. And I knew exactly what I was going to do with my future. You know, some kids would say, I want to be a fireman. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a policeman. I said, I want to be a rock star like my dad. Brian Cole sang, played bass, and wrote songs for the group. He passed away in 1972 at the age of 29. Years later, Jordan became an association member, effectively taking his father's place. It was a fluke. I uh, was calling some of the old members because I just was longing to hear more about uh, my dad. Somebody tell me stories, and I heard some great stories. And I had called Larry, who turned out to be living down in Grangeville, Idaho. I'd sent him some recordings I made because he had asked me, you, you do music? And I said, well, sure, I'll listen to these songs I wrote and see what you think. And he kind of gets on the phone and says, well, yeah, this is some fun stuff there. Uh, we need a bass player. Can you play bass? I said, yeah. Uh, well, why don't we we'll fly you out to Jamaica? We're doing a cruise ship and we'll just play bass. They didn't even meet me. They didn't audition me or anything. They just said, okay, come out and play bass. You know these songs? I said, I grew up with them. Besides performing in the association, Jordan lives in Spokane, writes and produces music, and runs a professional recording studio. Along with singer Jacqueline Ballad, Jordan records and performs with his local band, Chill Factor. Larry Ramos has been with the association since 1967. Born in Hawaii, Larry moved to Hollywood and became a child actor and musician. He worked on stage in The King and I in the mid-1950s. Then, after graduating high school, Larry helped start a folk group called the New Christie Minstrels. Worked with those guys for about four years. I mean, it was like being in the Army. You know, we were on the road for about 
three re years running, or 365 days out of the year. Oh no, I should say it, 360 days. I, re I remember going home for about a week. Let me tell you, back in the early 60s, it's scary. Uh, we go down to uh, places like Jackson, Mississippi, you know, and uh, they would say, hey, who's that China boy you got there, you know? And see, the Christie's were made up of uh, nine guys, uh, I'm sorry, eight guys and two girls. As soon as we got into the South, the eight guys would just crowd around me. I'd be in the center of them, you know? So they would act like a buffer between, uh, uh, you know, uh, the people and me. But after, you see, the thing is that once I got on stage and I played and whatnot, I was accepted. After I joined the association, my God, we, we worked with everybody, everybody. I got in, luckily, when they were recording Never My Love and Windy, and I sang dual leads. I sang with Russ on Windy, and I sang with Terry on Never My Love. Both Shanana and the association are still active and playing a number of concerts every year. After more than four decades, for these rockers, the beat goes on. If I'm 90 years old with a walker and I can still get to a stage, you're going to have to stop me because I will try and get up there. I uh, really, really love playing and singing. I'm going to do hardcore doo-wop uh, until the day I die, which will uh, never come if I keep doing doo-wop. That's the theory. And so you people out there, you're going to be stuck with me for the rest, uh, <laughs> for the rest of my life anyway. <laughs> if you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.